Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for the webinar How to Optimize Cloud Linux OS Limits. In this webinar, our Cloud Linux own Bogdan Shishka will discuss how to set and optimize Cloud Linux OS limits and what they really mean. Bogdan is Cloud Linux top tier technical support engineer. He's an expert in Linux and has been working in the industry since 2003. Bogdan, please go ahead. Hello everyone. My name is Bogdan and today we will talk about how to optimize Cloud Linux OS limits. Presentation will last 20 minutes, then we will take your questions at the end. Let's start. LVE is a kernel based technology developed by the Cloud Linux team. The technology has common roots with container based virtualization and uses C groups in its latest incarnation. It is lightweight and transparent. The goal of LVE is to make sure that no single website can bring down your web server. In a common shared hosting environment, a single site can consume all CPU, I.O., memory resources or Apache processes. LVE prevents that. It is done via collaboration of Apache module, PAM module and kernel. Mod hosting limits is Apache module that detect virtual host for which the request came. It put Apache process used to serve that request into LVE for the user determined via SUEXEC user group. It let Apache to serve the request, then removes Apache process from user's LVE. The kernel makes sure that all LVEs get fair share of the server resources and that no customer can use more than the limit set for that customer. Today, we can limit CPU, memory, I.O., IOPS, number of processes as well as the number of, of entry processes. LVE limits do not depend on the power of your server. They only depend on how fast you want your hosting accounts to be. Default limits are suitable for 99% of shared hosting servers. With more powerful hardware, you can host more clients per server. One, on the right side, you can see common limits for low-end customer and high-end customers, where the main difference is increased twice CPU speed, physical memory limit, and entry processes limit. As of now, with Cloud Linux features, you can limit PHP and CGI scripts, processes launch at our SSH session, cron jobs, email pipes, and MySQL queues. Static content is not limited by default. However, this is controlled with allo handler in mod hosting limits config file. If changed to wildcard, we can limit all requests. Default limits are following. CPU speed, one full core. Physical memory, 256 megabyte. IO, my one megabyte per second. IOPS, 1024. Number of processes, 100. And entry processes, 20. We strongly recommend disabling VMAM limits and as physical memory limit is much better and more safe and accurate way to limit memory for shared hosting. The very first purpose of Cloud Linux is to limit resources that could be taken by websites. Let's compare LVE and Apache R limits. R limit CPU you set per Apache process. That is an amount of second each process will execute. After that, process will be killed. It do not limit amount of CPU that can be used at the same time by account. LVE's CPU is for wall user account. That is the total amount of CPU in fraction of course all processes within account can use at the same time. If process tries to use more, they will be throttled. R limit mem means limiting memory consumption per process. If you have 100 processes, they can take 100 multiplied by that limit set. LVE memory limit is the total memory consumption for all processes within accounts. Total memory that account can consume does not depend on number of processes. Input output, IOPS and entry processes limits has no alternatives in our limits. Number of process is same with our limit and LVE. That is the maximum number of processes allowed per account. 
However, LVE counts all processes, not only those launched by Apache. CPU speed limit allows to set CPU limit in terms of percentage of a single core or as a fixed number of hertz. Setting speed to 100% means LVE can use one full core. Set it in to 150 means one and a half core. Speed in hertz would automatically detect CPU speed of each core and adjust CPU scheduler to make sure user cannot go over that limit. For example, on one gigahertz CPU, setting speed to two gigahertz would mean two full cores, while on four gigahertz CPU, same setting would mean half of a core. Once limit reached, processes are interrupted so they are slowed down. Hyper-threading counts as a separate core. In Linux system, one thread can occupy one core. If limit is set to less than one core, this will cause automatic throttling of all requests. It is dangerous to set speed limit less than one core, as in this case, system CPU usage will be higher due to context switching needing to fit, to fit the limit. You will notice this overhead in top output. More account with less than one core limit will cause higher load average. Half core means requests are two times slower. Limits should be not more than a half of all cores. Much better if you keep one quarter of all cores as the maximum speed limit for high-end accounts. If limits are higher than a half of all cores, you need just two accounts to overload a server. I.O. limits restrict the data throughput for the customer. They are in kilobytes per second. When limit is reached, the processes are throttled, put to sleep. This makes sure that processes within LVE cannot go over the limit. Yet, do not stop working nor getting killed. They just work slower when the limit is reached. The I.O. limit will only affect disk I.O. and will have no effect on network. It also does not take into consideration any disk cache access. So even if a file loaded from a disk cache 1000 times, it will not be counted towards I.O. limits. SSD provides better throughput. If a HDD average speed is from 30 to 100 megabytes per second, then SSD could give 80 to 500 megabytes per second. Limits are still per account. For, for hard disk drives, you may leave default 1 megabyte per second, while for solid state drives, 4 megabytes per second could be used. For high end accounts, you may want to use much higher limits. IOPS limit restricts the total number of operations per second. Disk operations are not read and write. They include open, close, seek, dir, etc. When the limit is reached, the operations stops until current second expires. Default is set to 1024 operations per second. SSD provides significantly higher IOPS rate. With HDD, normal is from 100 to 400 IOPS, while with SSD, they are counted by thousands. For HDD, you may leave default one, 1024 IOPS limit. For SSD, you may safely disable that limit at all. Memory could be controlled by virtual and physical memory limits. Virtual memory limit corresponds to the amount of memory that process can allocate within LVE. You can see individual process virtual memory usage by monitoring virt column in top output for the processes. When process tries to allocate more memory than allowed with VMAM limit, kernel will not allow doing this and in most cases will cause process to fail. Physical memory limit corresponds to the amount of memory actually used by end customer process. You can see individual process physical memory usage by monitoring REST column in top output for the process. Because similar processes share a lot of their memory, physical memory usage is often much lower 
than virtual memory usage. Physical memory default limit is set to 256 megabytes. You may check physical memory usage in RSS field in PS output or RASP column in top output. Additionally, physical memory includes shared memory used by the camera, customer, as well as a disk cache. When LVE goes over physical memory limit, Cloud Linux will first free up memory usage for disk cache, and if that is not enough, it will kill some of the processes within that LVE. This usually causes web server to show 503 error page. Physical memory limit is much better way to limit memory for shared hosting. We strongly recommend setting VMAM to zero and use only physical memory limit. And prods control the total number of processes within LVE. Once limit reached, no new process can be created until another one dies. Default limit is 100. The limit protects against fork bombs and similar attacks. Most users will never hit this limit under normal circumstances. For high-end users, you may set it to 200. However, it is safe to increase even to 1000. Entry processes limit controls the number of entries into LVE. It is also known as Apache Concurrent Connections, as the process enters into LVE when there is a new HTTP request for CGI or PHP. Each time a process enters into LVE, we increment the customer, the counter. Each time process exists, LVE we decrement the counter. We do not count processes that are created inside LVE itself. Default limit is 20. Once the limit reached, no new processes could enter LVE and will cause web server to show error 429 page, resource limit reached. That code will be used for future needs instead of currently used 508. The limit was created to prevent DOS attack against web server when attacker tries to reach max client creating large amount of slow requests. If max clients reached, Apache will not respond to new connections and from outside it appears to be down. The issue is worsened by CPU limits as one site starts to get slow due to CPU limit. It will respond to requests slower and slower causing more and more connections to be tied up. With entry processes limit, such attack will fail, as one site will reach his limit while other sites will keep working. We want to highlight that the limits do not depend on the server power. They depend on individual customers and how fast you want your accounts to be.